My name is Sunny Singh. I'm a musician and social justice educator. Race and religion. We all have multiple identities, and those multiple identities uh, are intersecting to affect our experience, to affect the way that we walk through the world. I am a South Asian. I also consider myself Punjabi. Uh, I am a Sikh, uh, as in S-I-K-H, uh, the, the faith. Uh, I am a cisgender man. I am straight, uh, and I grew up middle class, and I'm able-bodied. Structural racism, structural religious oppression or Christian hegemony, uh, structural patriarchy or sexism, all of these things are actually interlocked in society. Intersectionality means that we acknowledge that, that we actually ha all have to fight against all forms of oppression if we actually truly want to get free. I can't think about my racial identity uh, as a brown person or as a South Asian American without uh, also experiencing sort of the racialized aspects of being a Sikh, right? Being someone who wears a turban, who has a beard, those are very racialized things, even though for me, they have to do with my religion. I haven't been able to, to walk through this world or to walk through this country as a brown-skinned, turban-wearing, beard-having uh, man without that being just very apparent in, in the stares that I get, in the derogatory comments, the terrorists, the Osamas, the ISIS. My religion, Sikhism, has sort of been uh, compounded with this vilification of Muslims and Muslim-looking people at large. You know, that might be sort of technically religious oppression, for example, or it might be tied to Islamophobia. But those things are deeply tied to, to racism and white supremacy more broadly. My race, my gender, my religion might very well have consequences on whether I make it walking down the street alive. That's the reality that we're living in. So to not talk about them, to not confront those things very directly, to me is really the divisive thing, right? That's allowing these divisions and allowing these hierarchies and allowing these injustices to continue perpetuating themselves. If we don't stand up against them, if we don't amplify our voices against these things, they're gonna continue on whether we like it or not. What's been harder is thinking about my intersectional self along the lines of the ways I experience privilege, right? So my, my cisgender maleness, right? My heterosexuality, uh, the class privilege I had growing up, those things have always been much harder to look at. If we have sort of a choice whether to, to implore one or more of our identities, it probably means uh, that we have a relative amount of privilege. If we really want to be intersectional, we really have to challenge ourselves to also implore the ways which we experience privilege and the ways that we can be in solidarity with folks that don't have as much privilege. Privilege.